guys, Alex here. So it was leaked on Reddit by a, an anon anonymous poster that WGU, one of the mentors, has leaked an artificial intelligence master's program coming to WGU. Now, we don't know the timetable for this. It's looking like a March-April type of release. But a artificial intelligence master's degree, which is a huge surprise. I'm surprised WGU has kept this under wraps. It is coming to WGU. And the entire course curriculum has been leaked. And I will go over each course very briefly in this video. So I'll touch every course in the curriculum. Some of them I'll just probably go over for like one minute or less. Uh, maybe 30 seconds and then the other ones that I find interesting I'll go over you know more like a couple minutes into detail and tell you what that course will entail so very exciting stuff um, as you know a lot of a lot of you know that I take a computer science master's at Georgia Tech uh, it's very very rigorous with the time management so I actually might maybe I'll still finish that but I'm debating actually switching to this WGU AI degree and we can all do it together which would be amazing for any of you interested in that. I'll probably create a WGU Facebook group for it, uh, maybe even a Discord for it, and we can all team it together. You know, we can all get it done together. So it sounds like pretty fun. Uh, gets me, I can actually do something with you guys, for those of you interested in it. And we can just, uh, you know, get a degree together. You know, an AI degree, AI is the future. Artificial intelligence is the future. You know, I'm trying to make my channel more into an AI uh, type of channel as well. You know, de degree hacking is amazing. And I want to, I want to always make videos on degree hacking. I never want to abandon degree hacking, but at the same time, I've already covered like every possible degree that you can imagine with degree hacking, you know, so, but I'll, I'll always keep making videos on it and always put the word out there. But at the same time, I'm trying to branch out into other things, m more things with tech, more things with AI, etc. Anyways, this video is about the AI masters at WGU. So let's get focused back into that instead of rambling off topic here. So let's take a look at the first course. First class would be ethics and AI. And I always think ethics is kind of a filler class, but in AI, I would say it's kind of less of a filler class because I do think ethics and AI is extremely important. So this class is not gonna teach you anything like particularly useful, but it will guide you and teach you the ethics and what's ethical in AI. For example, AI is kind of dangerous in a way where you can make a video which a lot of people would not notice the difference if that this was an AI version of the person or the real person. I'm sure a lot of you have seen real Keanu Reeves. I believe that is AI, but don't quote me. Like even I can't tell, but I'm pretty sure that's AI. I actually thought that was the real Keanu Reeves at first, but if you go to that YouTube channel or or whatever, is it an Instagram? I, I'm not sure what it is exactly, I, but it looks just like Keanu Reeves and apparently it's AI. Um, and that's happening a lot now with celebrities and everything. You can't tell the difference sometimes. So uh, a lot of people can still tell the difference, but as AI evolves, you won't be able to tell the difference. So, you know, ethics just, ethics goes over like, hey, don't do this type of stuff without people's permission. Um, a lot of people, you know, will think that's the real person. You know, you can easily just kind of mess up somebody's reputation, stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff in AI that you need to understand what is ethical and not. A lot of it is common sense, but it's still, I think an ethics class in AI is really good compared to ethics in other, uh, other categories. So I do think ethics in AI is a really good class. The next course to be artificial intelligence, and this will basically be your intro to artificial intelligence class. I know a lot of bachelors have a artificial intelligence class as well. This one will also be an intro to artificial intelligence class, assuming like you don't have that artificial class from your bachelors, but it will also be the graduate level and more difficult as well. So still an intro class, but more difficult than a bachelor's intro class. So artificial intelligence, this will go over everything AI, very broad class for the most part, uh, probably gonna learn a lot of different things. So artificial intelligence should be a fun class, should be a very introductory class, should be a very challenging class. This one guys is machine learning and this is a very typical class in any artificial intelligence degree. So it'll basically be an intro to machine learning class, although it'll be more difficult than a undergraduate intro to machine learning class. You'll learn all the fundamentals of machine learning. You'll dive a little deeper into it than the undergraduate level. Like you'll learn exactly how machine 
uh, learning operates. Uh, and if you think you need math for this is yes, you do compared to other tech degrees, but knowing WGU, I'm sure they're going to simplify it compared to other artificial intelligence degrees. I don't think your math will need to be as strong compared to other AI degrees. So it, my best guess is, yeah, you probably need a good grasp of calculus one. You probably need a good grasp of maybe linear algebra, but not, not too deep of a degree. Um, you know, WG, like once again, they probably will simplify this degree and these classes a little more so than your average AI degree. And don't worry about the math too much, honestly. I would not worry about the math to a super extent. But yes, you know, brush up your, your calculus a little bit and maybe do a little bit of linear algebra cleanup. But for the most part, I wouldn't really worry about it. But machine learning, you'll learn how it works, the algorithms, you know, how the AI learns by feeding it information. So you'll learn all about machine learning. Here is deep learning, which is another uh, course you'll see in every artificial intelligence degree. Deep learning is basically, you're taking machine learning a step farther, uh, more intense algorithms, uh, how an AI can learn and learn. You know, basically deep learning really does, you know, you'll, you'll be working with a lot of complex things that will, you know, like I said, it, it's machine learning on steroids, basically. It, it takes you far deeper into it, and you'll learn all about it and how it works. And the math will be a little more intense in deep learning, but like I said, I think WGU will simplify these degrees. So if you really want to learn AI, machine learning and deep learning are a must, and you will absolutely you know, come out of this degree in all likelihood, because to pass these courses at WGU, you need to know your stuff, right? These te We've all taken the tests at WGU, most of us, and the tests are not easy. Uh, especially for the tech classes. So, you know, you're definitely going to know your stuff if you pass these classes. And deep learning, machine learning, AI, all these courses, you're going to be able to, um, you know, learn the material. And like I said, I wouldn't worry about the math too much, but I'm sure WG will release prereqs at some point, like what you would need to work on to get accepted. Uh, if you're a computer science graduate or most tech degree graduates, they'll probably accept you right off the bat is what I'm assuming. Next one is generative AI with uh, LLM. So this one's awesome because this is what I want to start going over on my YouTube channel as well. You know, you prompt engineering, uh, generative AI, which are, you know, basically very similar, same thing. Um, generative AI sounds cooler. Uh, but yeah, you'll learn how to create material. You'll learn how to use an AI to your advantage. You'll learn how to craft good prompts. You'll learn what is an LLM, a large language model. Uh, an example of a large language model is ChatGPT. ChatGPT is just a big um, AI, a big large language model. And then you feed it information. And the more information it learns, you know, machine learning, the more information ChatGPT learns, you know, the smarter it gets, uh, the more information it can give you back, etc. So this class should be pretty fun. You should learn how to create content with generative AI. And also, you'll probably learn how to craft and develop pictures using AI as well. So this should be a pretty fun course. Next course is computer vision, and I'm really impressed that this degree will have computer vision. Don't get me wrong, it is kind of a standard to have this in an AI degree, but the fact that this is in a WGU degree, this very advanced course that is computer vision is very impressive. I do think WGU gets more and more impressive, and they keep having pretty amazing degrees as time goes forward. So computer vision, what can you expect in this class is image processing, detection and recognition, uh, geometry-based physics, and basically video analysis. So, you know, just imagine, computer vision is also kind of how it sounds, you know, computer vision. So it's gonna view things, uh, like I said, it's gonna, it's gonna process images, if you feed it images, it's gonna detect things. It is l quite literally, in a way, computer vision. So you kind of think of like a robot, like computer vision. You know, so like think of developing a robot's eyes and you're trying to develop it vision, right? Like it has to process the image, et cetera, et cetera. Now, obviously we're not going to be, it's the same concept. Obviously in this class, we're probably not going to be learning uh, robots, but it's, it's kind of the same concept, but uh, computer vision, very interesting class. And I very much look forward to taking it. Next course is natural language processing. You'll find this course in any AI degree as well. This might be the course I'm actually looking forward to taking the most. So natural, ling natural language processing, uh, you're basically teaching the computer how to understand text and spoken languages. So 
you know, through machine learning, you're basically going to train the computer to read, analyze language and generate language. So natural language processing, you'll learn how all of that works and how to do it. This course would be business intelligence with AI. And this course is basically exactly how it sounds. You'll learn how to better monetize your business. You'll learn how to integrate AI with your business. And a lot of businesses these days are integrating AI. You know, it makes their business much better, um, much smoother, just overall a much better experience. You can help your business grow with AI as AI is the future. So business intelligence with AI will be a very beneficial class if one, you want to start a business or two, you want to work in a business type of setting. And that'll be also reflected in the next class I'm going to talk about as well. So business intelligence with AI, if you want to work in a business setting, you know, let's say you, this would be great if you have a business degree as well. And it will just show you like all the ways that you can help a business with AI and integrate AI. Class is AI and finance. And this one is pretty similar to the previous class, but more of in a finance setting. You know, this will, I'm not sure this class will go too far in depth with these types of things, but AI and finance can really show you, you know, things regarding the stock market, uh, really kind of project things. Uh, help you make smarter decisions with like your financial portfolio and things like that. I don't know exactly what this class will cover, but AI is being used in the finance world so much these days, more and more and more. You can make artificial intelligence algorithms that basically can really help you. Uh, like I said, the stock market, um, it, it can, a lot of predictive analysis, a lot of stuff like that. So this course probably won't cover that i'm assuming it's probably just going to be more basic kind of ai and finance type of things but you know you'll see that ai in finance is like a huge thing right now so if you like i said if you have a finance degree this class would also be very beneficial to you so this this master's degree is not just for the tech guys this is for if you have a finance degree would be pretty beneficial um you know some of the other bachelor degrees as well in the business setting but for the most part, I think the finance degree and the AI masters would be a great complement to each other. Uh, AI and finance should be a pretty useful class if you do want to work in the finance world. The final course in this degree outside of your capstone is called Robotic Process Automation. And I'm actually kind of surprised this course is in the WGU AI degree because this one would be usually like an AI degree that has a specialization in robotics or a computer science master's that has a specialization in robotics. So this degree is not really centered around robotics. Um, but in this, what robotic process automation is, is a software technology that makes it easy to build, deploy, and manage software robots that basically mimic human actions. So this will make work life easier. Think of a, think of a robot, like kind of just grabbing your file and putting your file away, you know, very automated system. You would develop the software for that. And then the physical robot would have that software and know exactly what to do. For that robot to do this, it needs computer vision. You have to program. It has to know what it's seeing. It's going to see the file, and then it's going to realize what the file is, it's, and it's going to do this very fast. It's going to grab the file, and then it's going to scan around the room, and then it's going to go put the file away where it needs to be. So just like a real-life robot, you know, just, just think where we're going to be like 50 years from now or even... You want to go further like 500 years from now you will have robots all over the place you probably will have consciousness um, which i'll probably get into into future videos i want to talk about ai from a more theory perspective about consciousness and stuff like that so if you guys are interested in those type of videos you know if you're not just here for degree hacking if you want to follow my channel even further as i get into more detailed topics and talk more about theory and and things like that i would love to talk about the theory about where is ai going to be you know, how far are, you know, robots and uh, AI going to get? Will it develop full consciousness? I believe it will. Um, I think all those sci-fi movies you have watched are basically, I do think that stuff will happen. And you would think like 20, 30 years ago, wow, that would, that would never happen. That's just science fiction movies. But I do think it's bound to happen. You will have AI with full developed consciousness at some point, feelings, all of that stuff, you know. We probably won't be alive to see it, but, and that's kind of unfortunate, but uh, I do think that is coming. Anyways, guys, I will 
do the outro right now, but that is robotic process automation. So that'll be it for today's video, guys. I've gone over all the courses that will be in the degree, except for the capstone. Uh, capstone will just be a project of some sort that you will complete. It could be an in-depth AI program where you maybe develop an AI, or it could be a large paper that's 50 pages. I'm not sure what the capstone will be about, so I'm not going to really speculate on it. But those are your 10 courses plus your capstone that you will have to complete the AI WGU degree, which should come out. I don't know for certain, but it should come out around March to April is the rumor. So, and considering the list was already leaked, I would lean more towards probably mid-March is what I'm thinking. That's just my guess. So if you had a master's degree lined up right now, let's say you're, I can't guarantee you, just no, I can't guarantee you, okay? So do not get mad at me if I'm wrong. But if you had a master's degree lined up in the next six months and you wanted to do an AI degree, I would actually put that on hold for now and see if this degree comes out March, April. Uh, like I said, maybe it doesn't, but I'm pretty confident it will. So this was leaked by a WGU mentor. But anyways, guys, like once again, thank you for watching. If I helped you in any possible way, please like and subscribe. Um, Anytime you like, subscribe, or comment, it sends the video to the homepage to somebody who has not seen my channel, which I greatly appreciate it as I am trying to grow this channel. So once again, thank you. Uh, I'll be talking about more things besides just degree hacking. If you're interested, if you're interested in degree hacking, you know, please subscribe. If you're interested in me talking about future AI things from both a fact point of view and from a theory point of view. Um, kind of almost a fiction point of view then please subscribe to my channel as well I'll also be talking i would love to do programming tutorials in the future uh, maybe ios you know swift ui i would love to do that as well so i'm open to su suggestions as well i also have a new website i'm launching pretty soon too and then the final thing i will leave you guys with is study.com is doing a new i'll have a video on this soon but study.com is doing a new discount starting yesterday uh, the 68% off for one month is no longer a thing, but starting yesterday, it is 30% off for three straight months. So if you sign up, you get 30% off basically three months in a row. It actually saves you more in the long run than the 68% off for one month. So if you were planning to do study.com for two plus months, it, it basically saves you more for the long run. And most of you are probably planning to do study.com more than one month anyways. So this will save you more money. So 30% off three straight months. And you can do that by clicking the link in the description and following it all the way to checkout. Um, it doesn't work that well on phone, so I would, I would do it on your laptop or desktop. Anyways, guys, thank you once again for watching. I really do appreciate it.